good afternoon everyone right okay so the topic today uh, is uh, your 3pl business or logistics business supply chain logistics business from the comfort of microsoft dynamics ecosystem uh, i'm jay tahsildar i'm founder and managing director at a company called mercury sit we are microsoft gold partners and we are also partners with a dutch company called voltrix which has built this 3pl solution very popular 3pl solution and uh, while while we are kind of working with microsoft for many years as a gold partner uh, what we are going to really explore today is really this ecosystem and how we can drive your global supply chain business from within that ecosystem now i'm pretty sure majority of you use microsoft office word excel outlook nowadays teams and then as you know microsoft call that particular product as 365 or office 365 and put it in cloud that's what they did actually with dynamics product suite as well for all their enterprise solutions like erp and crm for any business uh, be it any supply chain business or 3pl business what is most important for that business is really three steps people connecting with different processes and managing data i think visibility of data and making sure that you have good analytics on that and you have people following certain processes is really what any 3pl or logistics supply chain business would need and what microsoft is offering through this ecosystem is really that so imagine you using office 365 or teams every day and from there launching onto managing processes and accessing and managing data and that's what we are offering here now on this slide number of products that you would see you perhaps would find it familiar so Dynamics 365 or that 365 as a brand name right at the top two products that would come to your mind right office 365 because you are using outlook and teams that's really where people are spending majority of their time these days responding to customer or suppliers queries providing information communicating with your teams internally getting information so so that's where you live these days really that's where majority of people would spend time but the moment you now from teams and outlook go to the next stage and say that okay i'm going to now manage my financials or the supply chain whether it is warehousing transportation or freight forwarding that's where the erp the next symbol dynamics 365 business central that comes into play that then takes you to the crm so once you manage your supply chain processes and financials in erp and that's called dynamics 365 business central you then launch into the crm like sales and marketing and customer service for that matter so so in case if you have heard this brand or a product called d365 most likely you are using that sales and marketing product or customer service product now once you take care of your business processes on either erp business central or crm sales and marketing the businesses people do need easy access to the data and power apps is that microsoft tool which can launch very easy apps on your mobile and tablet devices really power automate is really your workflow tool that helps you automate your typical business workflows and at the same time make sure that there is a proper authorization workflow on various different processes using that power automate workflow and of course then azure logic apps to design anything that's outside microsoft's ready package solution really now the first one for collaborating and sharing the data the second one for implementing business processes building process controls and achieving your business process automation then takes you to the next level and that's for you as well as for your management the data analytics the dashboards 
the slicing and dicing of the data that you have created over a period of time through customer orders, supplier orders, your supply chain, everything. And that's really that last piece which is Power BI. Now that's all put together. We are talking about really this Microsoft Dynamics 365 ecosystem that's helping you to drive your supply chain business. Let's, let's take a little bit deeper dive. Now I'm sure almost 99% of you would recognize that there is a Microsoft Teams screen. After pandemic, when you started working from home, I mean, majority of business users were using Teams. And while you're using Teams, sometimes people don't know the integration that Microsoft has created for that ecosystem is to allow you access data from the backend systems like Dynamics 365. So you can remain within your teams and search the data. You can remain within your teams and access the data and share the data. And, and I think that's really the critical. Uh, and then of course, some of you would know now that Microsoft Copilot as a AI tool from Microsoft is also powering up the products like Teams to do wonders really. And, and we will of course talk as we go along really to talk about the AI part as well. But that's, that's really very typical example of you're sitting in the comfort of your Microsoft Teams, but you're accessing and sharing data from the backend systems. Going forward, as you can see, now you're still within Teams, but now you've opened up the backend application like Dynamics 365 Business Central or for that matter CRM. So then you are able to run your warehouse processes, transportation processes, or freight forwarding process, for example, for 3PL, or CRM, your sales and marketing data really. But again, from the comfort of your teams, and that becomes again sharing much easier. This is really the, the deeper layer which is built on Dynamics 365 Business Central, which is the core ERP uh, solution. Uh, our partners called Boltrix in Netherlands, they are the market leader in Europe and now really expanding very fast globally. Uh, this solution architecture, which is built on Microsoft and it's within Microsoft, by the way, allows you, if you're a 3PL business, and we have loads of customers using, for example, Warehouse management processes, your customers, their data, their goods coming into the warehouses, the cross docking, the RF scanning or, or mobile scanning these days, your voice picking or value added logistics, the entire business process of your logistics business for warehousing is really one silo. Second, for those companies who are into transportation space, managing their transport planning, whether it is entering the transport orders or your map and route calculations, your graphical planning, your APS integration, the driver, the, the POD, proof of delivery driver app, again, using the Microsoft app, really, you're able to, uh, and of course, the onboard computers for the, the drivers, they are all coming under that second silo, transportation planning. And then the third one, your freight forwarding and you know, you look around the companies here, they are either in one of those areas or doing more than one of those areas really. And in, in one of these areas, I think we, we have loads of freight forwarding companies who either are doing the freight on road, air or ocean. And once again, the way Boltrix has built that solution is because it's built on Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, it remains within Microsoft ecosystem. And once again, the connection with Teams and Outlook. On top of this layer, really, they also have built a number of nice tools. Again, for customers, for things such as document capture or web portal. I mean, these days, partners need to share information on internet, on web portal. Uh, things such as Power BI for your dashboard and reporting. Data Hub for EDI, because people like to exchange information electronically. So these tools, again, built completely 100% on Microsoft Dynamics, allowing you to drive your supply chain business from that one ecosystem. Perhaps you'll see lots of these icons 
familiar. I mean, for last two and a half days, one and a half days, actually, we have been talking to so many customers. They are again playing in one of those areas or more. Uh, we in the UK work with three out of top 10 global cold storage leaders using this solution in UK and Ireland and as well as UK and Ireland, they also use that in Europe as well, really. So whether it is warehousing, ambience or cold storage, transport management, e-fulfillment, which is becoming quite big these days with uh, web ordering, your EDI platform, your ocean freight, road freight, air freight, they are all coming out of one application. Some of the customers, selected customers, as I said, um, Americold, Jenkins, Constellation Logistics, actually, they are in top 10 global cold storage uh, uh, companies in the world. Now, because this entire solution is on cloud, we get asked by the customer how secure that data is. And that's where this whole cybersecurity reference architecture comes into play. And, and again, I don't want to really to get bogged down with lots and lots of boxes and names there. Just to impress on one simple point that Microsoft is taking care of your cybersecurity really. And this entire cybersecurity reference architecture is one of the most advanced ones uh, available out there in the market. So whatever you are accessing online from those applications are secured behind various different tools which are required to secure the solution and you don't really have to worry about it. Microsoft takes care of it as a software as a service because it's a cloud-based solution and what you're paying for is really for usage per user per month. This then takes you to the next level as you can see. Uh, everything that I talked about are divided in these three silos from Microsoft Dynamics again. Um, the first one you perhaps recognize most of those icons, productivity and collaboration tools like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, Teams. Everybody knows that. Connected very well with your business and data and business data and processes layer. That's where our Boltrix application for 3PL as well as CRM, when people hear about Dynamics 365, CRM, those are the applications like sales, customer service, marketing, including finance, of course. And then the last one, which is Power Platform. And Power Platform, again, is that low-code solution from Microsoft for creating apps, creating Power BI dashboards for data analytics, as well as Power Automate for automating the workflows, really. And that, as you can see, I think in next five years, you'll get to see that co-pilot icon more and more. Any product from Microsoft you use, whether it is Office or Teams, more and more co-pilot would drive the way you do the business, really, primarily because Microsoft is on the forefront of that whole AI development. And they are trying to now enable users to, right from guiding users, giving them good access for quick data analytics using natural language queries to empowering them to take better decisions and then to the fourth step to autonomous and to make it automated processes really. So that whole co-pilot as a framework is helping Microsoft customers in those areas. Um, this is really the full circle of all the applications that I talked about for last 10-15 minutes. And you don't have to again buy all, you can buy really the one that you need for your business. Business Central, as we said, is the base ERP and then many CRM applications around uh, that Dynamics 365 value chain. This is really the co-pilot one that I was talking about. You are in Dynamics 365 Business Central, and in old days, if you needed a report from that, you would ask some developer uh, to write the report. Now, we are actually writing natural language query, uh, such as locate information about any entity, the customer entity that you want to uh, look at. Uh, explain, like provide explanation for a particular term that you want to find out about from the software. Or guide, show me steps to do, say, a sales order processing. Now, these are really the, the easier ways of using the co-pilot because you are now 
not necessarily really uh, depending or the on the developers to give you that that information instead microsoft copilot is really empowering that whole easy access of the data something similar on on the say for example i'm i'm writing a sales order and i can using copilot simply write an order for customer x with item a and b and copy previous order from customer you know very easy business like natural language actually and you're creating transactions right so i think i've used my 15 minutes very quickly about mercurius um, we are around since 2005 the business was set up here in the uk in milton keynes in 2005 uh, we are Microsoft Gold Partners in all four major categories, uh, business applications, uh, apps, Azure, as well as AI and data. Uh, we were Microsoft Partner of the Year in this space, two years in running, 22 and 23, uh, 150 plus strong staff, 200 plus happy customers, and of course, uh, we are ISO 27001 and Cyber Essential Plus certified as well. Thank you. Thank you for listening.